think it's on recording. I can't tell. Get my sunglasses on. Maybe I can see it. Still can't see if I'm on or off. Hang on, folks. We're back here at TB's cabin. Just trying to see if we're on record or what we're on. Out here in the sunlight, I can't tell whether we're recording or not. Hold on, I can't see either way. That darn light. Okay, we're recording. Good. All right, just getting set up here. TV's cabin. I still can't tell whether I'm getting. Yeah, there we go. Okay, TB back here. TB's cabin this morning. We're, I'm going to try to make a machete today off the blacksmith. The one that's a little heavier for cutting. The one I've got works, but it's not as uh, heavy as they ought to be. They, they don't make them out of real good steel, the cheap ones like I've got. But I can use it. What I'm thinking about is I'll use it for a uh, pattern. I'll show you here in a second when we get this fire kind of wet. I'm going to try to make a, uh, let me see if I can roll this up, it's a little bit low, adjust this camera tripod, let's try it right there, see what we get, can't tell what's going on, alright, uh, looks like we're getting a pretty good shot of the, got it set up over here on the black foot. that little estimate I had going on to start with. I was trying to get the camera to work. I can, in this sunlight, I can't tell if it's if it was recording or not. So I've got it set up for starting now. I'm going to have to run the power cord out here to it because I know that battery won't last too long. But I'm just getting my forge fired up this morning. I'm thinking about, uh, well, it's nice this morning. Uh, going ahead and straightening out this here uh, knife that I started the other day for one project and, and uh, it's pretty good shape but I'm going to have to flatten this out so it fits the sheath better. It's got a kind of a bend right here. So I'm going to heat it again and bend it out. And for this other lawnmower blade, I'm going to try something that hadn't been tried before. I'm going to try to make a machete out of it. Kind of a, we're cutting heavier brush with around here. That's the idea anyway. It's pretty heavy steel. We're going to see what happens when I take that old lawnmower blade and turn it into a cutting tool for cutting down the brush and debris and something a little heavier. I'm going to use the machete I bought to uh, make a pattern of it. The steel in this is a lot heavier than what, a, what they put in most standard machetes. The machete that I've got I like the length of this machete better, but it's just too light for what I'm doing. Hang on a second. This, uh, see, that's that's a pretty decent machete, except it's just not as heavy as steel as I like. It's too light this way. But this. Maybe a reason they make them lighter, probably for carrying in the jungles, because 
they're lighter to carry than what this would be. This one here is about a quarter of an inch thick. I'm making it to use around here around the house than this one for cutting big brush, cutting big uh, trees, saplings and stuff. Well, this one's so light you have to hit it so many times to even get it to cut it. Well, this one, when I sharpen this carbon steel, be a lot better than this pot tin. All this is is about made out of lightweight tin. Most machetes are made out of this stuff. I'm going to make it out of the, this carbon steel and use it for a pattern. It's almost the same length on the blade, just, just the handle. Just the handle would be a little bit shorter. The handle will come in here on this, about four inches less. Not a whole lot of difference. Some. But this one will be a lot heavier cutting machete than what the other one is. Alright, when I get it started, I'll be right back with you, so hang tight. I'm gonna go get the power cord run over here so I can leave the camera on. Okay, be right back. Make sure this stays going. See what we got here. All right, I think we got it on the forge. But are we recording? Yep. All right, TB's back here. TB's Kevin. I'm gonna see if we can make a machete today. Straighten out a carbon steel knife that I started the other day. I have to reheat and temper it. Straighten the back edge of it out. It's got kind of a bend, like I say, right here in the back of the blade, which would make it makes it stick.